Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabita fillah as Muslims we should be of those who honor our trust those who speak the truth and those who do not break their promises as these are the signs of hypocrisy and in a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said three are the signs of a hypocrite when he speaks he lies when he makes a promise he breaks it and when he is trusted he betrays his trust this is uh, narrated in Bukhari and Muslim and in another narration, even if he observes psalm, meaning fast, performs salat, and claims to be a Muslim. So this shows us the seriousness and that we should do everything possible to avoid those characteristics. Some of us may fall into some of them or one of them, but the Muslim should strive and the mu'min should be free away from those things because it's not difficult to just at least, when you promise someone, just to fulfill that promise. Don't be negligent by making many promises that you're unable to fulfill. Likewise, it is not that difficult to refrain from lying. Just don't lie to people, speak truthful, or don't speak at all. And when you have a trust of someone, you have their property, that this is a trust between you and that individual and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is an Islamic duty to protect that trust. So the one who has violated one of those rights of their Muslim brothers and sisters, then they have a sign of hypocrisy. And it's very important that we refrain and are cautious with how we use the term hypocrite or munafiq that you should void whenever possible of accusing someone of being a hypocrite but in fact you can remind your brothers and sisters or you can be watchful of certain traits you may find in a particular individual but do not say oh I thought you were a munafiq oh I believe you're a munafiq or oh munafiq this is like making takfir of someone it's so serious. So that's why we have to be cautious. And as we know, <coughs> to make takfir of someone, this should be referred to the people of knowledge. And there are dhuwabit, there are criterion. And there are sharut, there are conditions. And there are mu'ana, there are things that prohibit from making takfir on a specific individual. So it's very important that we have this knowledge, this ilm, and be cautious of how we uh, speak about others and the things we say on our tongue. On Abdullah ibn uh, Amr ibn, ibn al-As radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he reported, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, four are the qualities which when found in a person make him a sheer hypocrite. And one who possesses one of them possesses one characteristic of hypocrisy until he abandons it. These are when he is entrusted with something, he betrays his trust. When he speaks, he lies. When he promises, he acts treacherously. And when he argues, he behaves in a very imprudent, insulting manner. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. As we've already related those first three characteristics, what about the one when he argues, he becomes imprudent and excessive? This is also a, a, a trait of hypocrisy that we have to avoid. And you'll find this all the time in many people, this characteristic of being, when they argue, that they are excessive. And may Allah forgive us and forgive the believers. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. That you'll find sometimes when a person, because of their honor, because they want to be right in the argument, because at any means, by any cost and means, they would like to be correct. And they, 
So in that case, that they're willing to say anything to defend their honor, not to defend the truth. And this is a characteristic which Ahl Sunnah is away from, detest this characteristic. And likewise, which is more relevant to the hadith and what the Prophet was, just, was, was saying, is that the person who argues that they become excessive. So you attacked my character, I begin to attack your character. And I, and I go even more so into depth or I begin to curse and I begin to speak ill and wicked. Or, for example, it could be a knowledge-based discussion where there's dis legitimate disagreement or what have you, but it becomes an argument and the person is defending, believe he's defending his honor, but it is actually his, his arrogance and his pride which humbles him from... Um, humbling himself before the truth and so they defend falsehood and they begin to curse and attack your character well da 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 da, da or that may be true but you're this and or they begin to curse or they begin to slander or they begin to attack the character of the person instead of sticking to the discussion at hand all of these things are dangerous characteristics to possess but especially the one who doesn't know how to control their his or her tongue and that they, through an argument, they're the quickest one to go overboard and to begin to curse and swear and defame and slander someone's character and honor. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of our many sins and protect us from having those characteristics. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.